hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can upload files using power canvas app into sharepoint library or OneDrive. so that's what we are going to learn so you might already be knowing that attachment controls uh, we by default get whenever we select as a sharepoint data source or any data words as a data source from our apps but by default we don't have any attachment control there is a media control for images that can be uploaded but the files pdf excel files so those cannot be uploaded without having attachment control. so this is the workaround which i'm going to show you today how you can do that uh, using attachment control which is there into the power camps so i am into my make.powerapps.com i can go to apps we can start creating one new app so i'll just pick that as a canvas app and choose the layout as form let's say and i'll just say that uh, upload to sp library or one drive all right so over here we got this area to work on and right now uh, there's a blank so i have not connected any data source so for uploading attachment of course like we have to have one attachment control so if i go to insert and if you try, try to find out attachment there is no attachment if you try to uh, upload image then we have this media control so we are not going to use this media control but we are going to actually connect to sharepoint list as data source so that by default we can get one attachment and then we are going to remove that data source and then going, uh, we are going to work uh, further on it. So right now I have just clicked on this cylinder and there is add data. So I can just try to search my share existing SharePoint connection. And let me just pick one of that. It has given me the SharePoint sites. I'll just pick one of my site and one of my list. And over here, so once the connection is established, I can just go over here and then can try to find the form. So you can see like I have this added form. And once the added form is added to this form, page, I can go to right hand side and bind that to my list. So right now it's binding all the columns. So you can see like I have these columns appeared up, so with which is also having attachment. So I can actually remove the rest of the fields because i don't require them i can just simply remove and keep the attachment control as an alone so right now i just got my this attachment control everything rest is removed from it and i wish to like unlock this so that i can actually remove the data source which is binded to this control so you can very well do that you can just go over there the form select the card right click the card and unlock it so that we can remove the data source associated with this attachment control so right now what you can do you can directly go to this data cylinder icon remove this data because we got our attachment control so we can delete it very well so we have started getting this error for data source so simply what you can do you can for timing you can remove it you can just have that uh, nothing binded to it or temporarily dummy what you can do you can still bind this to any of your sharepoint library or one drive so what you can do uh, you can just again go to the sharepoint as data source and choose any of the library it doesn't matter because we are going to actually work with uh, the document up upload into the power domain so it doesn't matter like which data source you are using but it's just need to be connected somewhere like it's a dummy one so i'm just connecting it so that uh, i should not uh, get these warnings so right now so it's still binding to that so we have to remove this So we have removed all the errors just by removing the formula and bind it to our this dummy data source. So right now we just have we are just left with one attachment control which is this, and we now we are going to 
uh, insert one button so that I can actually do an insert operation. So I'll just minimize that so that I can have space for my button to be there. I click on insert, find out my button, and place that button as upload. I'll rename it file. So right now with the UI purpose, like we are done. So we have this one attachment control dummy bind it to one of the data source and upload button so right now now we are dependent on power automate so that this file whatever we are attaching should be uploaded so right now i've just selected this file control and to showcase you like what max attachment we can have what max attachment size can be so max attachments uh, are six by default so i'll just say like two and the maximum attachment size in mb is 10 mb so it can be increased easily till 90 MB because that is the maximum size I have tried. So which power apps actually supports because power app form get time out after one minute. So if the files are more than 100 MB, so you have to find another way of doing it. So probably another way could be writing one custom PCF control that can actually uh, trigger any HTTP function or like trigger any power automate which can chunking do the chunking of the files and then upload the files into the data source. So that we are not going to cover over here, but I'm just increasing the file size as 50 MB. And right now I'm just saving it. And in the next step, we are going to create this Power Automate. So I am on the left hand side, clicking on the Power Automate, create a new flow. And this flow we are going to create from blank because I want to use the Power Apps Trigger version 2 for this rather than this by default one. So you can just simply delete it. Click on Power Apps, you will get two triggers. So I'll choose this version 2 and into the input, we'll be using the file as input and which will give me the, the file content bytes and the name from the Power Apps to this Power Automate. And in the next step, if I wish to create the file into OneDrive, then I'll just uh, scroll down and pick that as OneDrive. And if you wish to create that same file into your library, then you can just simply create file into SharePoint. So these are the two connections. So these are irrespective of whatever data source you have selected into your Power Apps. So that was just totally dummy. So the actual processing would be done by this MS only. So I'll just say that as let's say root folder and into the file content, I'll just put that as file content and name, let's say like I'm just putting that name as test PDF and very we can very well read that name from the file as well but for the time being i'm just putting that and into this uh, document library let's let me pick this kscom folder as default shared documents file name again as test pdf and the content is we are going to read that from file content which is there into power apps we do so we are creating the same file or uploading the same file into both the places and saving it. So we have to rename it as well so that we can be very well aware about our Power Automate name. So I'll just modify it, edit the Power Automate again and just rename it. Upload file or drive. This is my flow name now and on the button click we are going to call this flow which is which will do the processing for us and we are just going to save and close i am just selecting my button so on selection of this button i'll just use type my flow name so you can see this is my flow and it's saying like run so i can run my flow on this button click and over here you can see like i have parameterized file record so, so this file record what we have to pass on is the json and json for my file record so you can simply say that file and for record i have again one json so i'll just before that i'll just format this so that i can uh, properly look at look at it so file and in this json what parameters i would be passing i would be passing content bytes and which will be nothing but the file which we are reading from 
this upload the attachment control so i'll just pick my first file so from attachment control so the attachment control was of data card value 5 attachment and i'll just pick the first attachment out of it so i'll use the function as first attachment dot value this will give me the byte array and the next parameter would be name and name i can pass that as as a test pdf and i can very well close my this function so right now you can see i have this function written my show name dot run file record and file record is content bytes and the name of the file so name of the file you can very well read this from this attachment values dot name so you can simply same again use this paste it replace that with name attribute so it will take that as name and you can now save your this form so i'll just minimize that and before doing that i need to change the my form mode so that it can take that uh, whenever the form is open the, the, the control should be in the uh, attachable mode so i'll just say that as a new mode so that it should be enabled and in my card as well i uh, in this data uh, card value 5 which is attachment control i have to go and see that my display mode is this added so i need to verify that so i'm just saving it and then try to run my so right now my uh, this attachment is enabled i have this button so i'll just pick one of the file so let's say i'm just picking this mock test file and clicking on upload so it's uploaded i did not put any success message so that's why i did not get anything so let's go directly to our automate.com to check whether our flow ran or not so this was our flow and i'll just go to the instances so it ran it took 18 seconds and we can verify whether we have we can see our file into one drive and sharepoint so i'll just because we uploaded our file into root so we have this test pdf so that is good so this file is there and the same file should be there into my kscom site into the library just directly grant it to the documents and yes i do have the same file uploaded to my sharepoint library so we are successful in uploading the files using power apps and the the way what we chose is like having this attachment control generated from any power uh, i mean any sharepoint list item and then remove that data source bind this to any dummy data source and then using power automate we are uploading the files we are reading the parameter of this file as content byte array with a function which we have just stored which is which is actually taking the data card value attachment value as content bytes and the name so this is how you can do that without having attachment control this alternate method so that is it for today's video if you have any questions or comments then please do reach out to me and that's it for today thank you